Hi, I'm here today to introduce the Rapid Air Fast Pipe Industrial 4 and 6 inch line. We got 4 inch and we have 6 inch available. For cutting the Fast Pipe Industrial, always use a good quality cutter. We don't want to use a hacksaw, port a band, anything like that. We need a straight cut. So a rolled cutter, a manual cutter, or we also offer a power cutter that uh, rolls and cuts the tube. That's the best way to do it. So simply figure out where you want to cut the tube. In this case it has the rolled on it, but we need it a little shorter, so we're going to cut it off. Line it up with the cutter wheel. Now, what's important when cutting is don't have the wheel go first, always have the guide rollers go first. This will make you a nice, clean, straight cut. And sometimes, you know, if the wheel walks off or something, you're going the wrong way. So always make sure that you're going the, the guide roller way. After you've cut the end of length, we need to prep the end. Okay? Now this end will have a little burr on it from the pipe cutter. And so we have a chamfer tool that you put on a portable drill. And you're going to chamfer it and make a nice clean edge. This will help when you push the seal on so no uh, areas get cut on the seal. Now, since this end has been pre-rolled, we have to put lugs on this end so that they can attach to the fitting. And we do that with the portable plugging tool. Okay? Now, the 4 inch will require 5 lugs all the way around the tubing and the 6 inch will require 8 lugs. So now, how do you mark the tubing to know where to put the lugs? Well, part of our deburr tool, we have little marks on the deburr tool around the outer edge that you can use a sharpie and mark where your lugs go. So I'll simply go ahead and I'll mark the lugs, just center line. This will make it real easy so you know where to put your marks and where to do your lugs. Now you're going to take the lugging tool. Now there's a forward action. And as it crimps all the way you'll hear it click and that'll stop. Then you're going to push the button on the side and that'll take the pressure off the tool and allow you to open it. So you open the tool and uh, in this case the head can swivel. So we're going to take the tool, line it up to your marks, and make the lug. All right. Okay, there's a little release button on the side you push. That'll release the tool. Take it off. There's your lug. You're going to do five lugs around the entire pipe. And then we're going to go to assembling the fitting. So here is the assembly of the 4 inch and 6 inch fast pipe industrial. It's best to use some uh, soapy water, spray down the seal. This will help it slide on the pipe real easy. Remember that we used our chamfer tool to chamfer this edge so we won't cut this rubber seal at all. So simply put the seal on, do the mating piece, and then insert it into the fitting. You notice there's locating grooves or recesses for the lugs. Line it up, line it up. The seal's in place here. It's kind of a clamshell type design. So bring the clam over. So after you have the bolts assembled, you may want to use an impact type device to put the bolts and tighten the bolts. But do not use an impact. They have too much torque and you're just going to strip the threads right out of the fitting. So what we recommend is initially just use a clutch type drill where you can set the clutch settings so we're not over torquing the bolts. Notice I'm going to do it in a crisscross pattern and not one side first and then the other. Okay, after you have the bolts uh, tight then you're going to go back through with the torque wrench and you're going to torque them to 20 foot-pounds and that's the seal installation for the 4 and 6 inch fast pipe industrial.
There are a variety of fittings available for the four inch and six inch fast pipe industrial. There's T's, elbows, uh, many different fittings to make your compressed air piping system. There are flanges available. This will be a ANSI 150 pound flange. And each of the fittings will already have the rolled ring put on them so they can attach to the union. So there's no, no need to lug each of the fittings. It's to attach a fitting to a pipe, you simply add a union and you can see how it will attach with the fitting to the union to the pipe. Installation tools. Uh, I showed you about the lugging tool. When we're doing a 4 inch to a 6 inch to change the lugging, we do have a different jaw set for that. You will need to change on the tool. The chamfer tools are, are a great asset for installation. They're going to prep that end of the tube so it's not sharp, as well as they provide the marks for the lugging tool. Always use a great quality cutter. Um, we want to make sure that pipe is uh, cut straight, so always use a good quality cutter. Other than that, the Fast Pipe Industrial 4 and 6 inch will make a great system for you. Keep your air clean and keep your labor costs down during installation. For more information, give us a call or go to rapidairproducts.com.